It's the largest fish in the sea, the whale shark. You're looking at one of the most visited aggregations in the world off the coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula in the Mexican Caribbean. I've been here many times over the past 10 years for work to help protect marine life. But this time I wanted to experience it with friends and show them what it was like to dive in with whale sharks. For the next few minutes, we'll take you there as well. Join us as we visit the beautiful island of Isla Mujeres. and jump in the waters just off the coast to meet the whale shark. Hello, how are ya? Hi. Hey! We had discussed plans to visit Isla Mujeres for several years, and then we were finally able to put everything together. Meeting at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, members of the expedition couldn't wait to get things started. It's a 90-minute flight to Cancun. From there, it's a cab ride to the Isla Harris Jet Ferry. You know you're somewhere different when you see these beautiful turquoise waters. The island of Isla Harris itself is a throwback to the way the Caribbean used to be. Only 12,000 people live here. You'll find artisanal fishermen and ecotourism. Residents here are eager to show the world what this location has to offer. There are great restaurants and beautiful hotels. Our hotel is the outstanding Playa La Media Luna, highly recommended at a reasonable price. Once at the hotel, it's time to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow, we'll be swimming all day. Even before the sun comes up, it's 6 a.m. and time for a quick breakfast. Then we head for the boats. For this expedition, we'll be using the boats of Keen M Blue Water Encounters. We leave at daybreak to head about an hour off the coast to look for whale sharks. It's not long before we spot all the fins and jump in. There's nothing on earth quite like this. The whale sharks come to the waters up the coast of the Yucatan every year between the months of May and September to feed. These massive animals seem to swim at a turtle's pace just below the surface, scooping up tiny food with their enormous mouths. Now here's a tip if you go. It's important to be respectful of the shark and swim at angles. If you swim directly at a whale shark, they will feel the pressure wave and will turn away from you. Just be patient and let them come to you. The other important thing to remember is at times you'll be surrounded by whale sharks. Just relax and enjoy. As you carefully swim to see a shark, the sweet spot is between the pectoral fin, the fin on the side of the shark, and the mouth. If you position yourself there, you can enjoy the presence of a whale shark and really take it all in.
Sometimes there is so much food in the water, the whale shark will stop swimming and do a patella, which is bottle in Spanish. They just stay at the surface and eat and eat. Out here on the open ocean, there's something else that is a must-see, manta rays. Because there is so much food in the water, there's plenty for the whale sharks and the manta rays to share. If you go, know that some days in the water will be clear, and sometimes it will be murky because there is so much substance in the water. Again, this is what the whale sharks are here for tiny creatures and fish eggs in the water. Absolutely indescribable when you look at it and think, wow. So it's beyond words. It's really an experience, a feeling, an opening, a connection, spiritual awakening, a oneness. Once back on the boat, it's time for a nap and a little fresh ceviche on the water. Hey, 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 hey Team Whale Shark! Woo! Hey, 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 all right. <laughs> when we return to shore, everyone is eager to talk about this amazing experience. I followed that instruction of just sort of swimming along the side of it. And I, we were looking in each other's eyes and I kept saying, I love you. And I was feeling, I love you back. And we were, we really stayed together for a while. And I, I there was just an, and that instant knowing that we're two live things floating through the water together. It, it gives me chills to think about it. It was so real. It was effortless. It was so peaceful and so absolutely exhilarating at the same time. It's just amazing to see them right up close and you get right alongside of them and you really put things into perspective for yourself just how insignificant you are in the world but also how connected you are to other living things in this great big planet. With the botea where the shark is vertical in the water feeding from the surface, it's just unbelievable because you get to see them on the surface with their mouth open and gaping and closing and just sucking in the food in the water and filtering it through their gills. And then you look down into the water and you see this great big massive shark, how deep it goes, how long it is, and it's not moving, it's not swimming, it's vertical, completely vertical in the water and you're just right alongside of it watching it and it actually kind of spins around almost and you kind of watch it do this little dance almost like a ballerina on point right there at the water surface. It's unreal that these animals that they're so large are so graceful. When I have something that comes up that feels like it's sort of a big deal, I know if I can go back to that just floatiness and that that connection that I had with, with life, that was really the experience. I would say that it is a spiritual experience that everybody should have. I think everybody should have a chance to do this, at least once. And these feelings are very universal, very universal. A sense of peace, 
gentleness and you know an experience that you can take back and, and share with others. It's the thing that moves you from a place of disconnection to connection, to small, smallness to grandness, to the sense of lack to abundance. It's, it's really essential that we let that life that is in us be stirred up and ignited by experiences. And this was probably one of the biggest of my life. If you want to take part, you need to be a good swimmer. In fact, if you're a photographer and want to swim underwater with the whale sharks, you'll need a free diver certification. Otherwise, you'll be required to wear a life preserver. Some days on the water can be calm, other days it will be rocky. So be prepared if you tend to get any motion discomfort on the open ocean. It may rain a little in the afternoon, but the storms tend to go by quickly, and it's worth a little rain in paradise to see these creatures. Well, shark season is during the summer months from May through September. There's even a whale shark festival in mid-July. The water temperature is warm, but I would recommend a dive skin to protect your skin from the sun. The whale sharks of Isla Mujeres are incredible and worth the trip. It was good to finally be able to take some friends and share this incredible bounty nature has to offer.